Happy Sunday, my film friends. Dave the Film Junkie here. What's going on? <laughs> well, I mean, it's weird. There wasn't really, I mean, there wasn't not much competition, huh? It was just like one big movie this weekend. And, uh... And then we were treated, of course, with all the Comic-Con stuff, which seemed a little lackluster. I think it was just because, you know, a certain uh, certain side of the uh, comic book realm was uh, not present and didn't really put out there, uh, put out much. But, you know, the MCU did. But, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But, uh, yeah, speaking of that, well, we'll talk about a certain one, a certain movie in that, in that universe that has pretty much, uh, yeah, made it to where they wanted it to go. So here we go, guys. Coming to number five, you know, uh, well, I should say this. If you're new to my box office video, I read off the top five domestic earners, but I, of course, talk about the international numbers because they're important. Anyways, coming to number five in its fourth week yesterday, it made $5.1 million over the weekend, bringing that domestic gross to 576 and it's overall made $98.2 million, $26 million budget. Not too shabby for that movie. I still, I still got to see it, and I still want to see it. Comes out on video, it definitely will. Coming to number four in its second week, another movie I want to check out too because I've heard good things, Crawl. It made $6 million over the weekend, bringing that domestic grand total to 23.8. It had a $13.5 million budget. And overall, it's made $33.7 million. So not bad. Small budgets, man. They can go a long way. Get like a crafty filmmaker in there. Coming to number three in its fifth week, Toy Story 4. It made $14.6 million over the weekend, bringing that domestic gross to $375.5 million. And overall, it's made $859.4 million. Jeez. Starting to simmer down. I was wondering, I'm like, is it going to reach a billion? And I think, like, nah, it's not going to get there. Coming to number two in its third week, Spider-Man Far From Home. And it made $21 million over the weekend, bringing that domestic gross to 319.6. And overall, it's made $970.7 million. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's only about, what, 30, a little less than $30 million away? I think it, I think it might make a billion. We might have our first billion-dollar Spider-Man flick. So there you go. It's crazy. And then, of course, coming to number one, he knew it was going to be the case, even though it had mixed reviews, and I wasn't really a fan of it either. The Lion King. It made $185 million. That's right. And overall, it made $531 million worldwide. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> I remember, like, when the reviews came out, they were mixed, this, that, and this, and then it just shows you right there. Again, that nobody that that people are not caring about Rotten Tomatoes is saying, which is a good thing. It's a really good thing. No matter what side you're on, whether you hate Disney or you don't, or you hate the MCU or you don't, you know, it's starting to show that people are now going, let's just go to the fucking movie and see if it's good or not, you know. I mean, yeah, there's still gonna be those people out there that look at the that look at that little percentage and then decide whether, you know, either it's rotten or fresh, but Lion King was rotten. Barely rotten, but it was rotten. And, uh, yeah. I just, yeah. And then, guys, we must, uh, do this. Because Avengers Endgame beat out Avatar over the weekend. It's fitting. Comic Con weekend, it beats it out. That's crazy. It's almost like it was planned. But, uh, yeah, it has surpassed Avatar for the most successful box office movie of all time which is good cool that's fine started getting annoying after a while but hey whatever works that's fine i know there's a lot of people that hate who hate the mcu that <laughs> will use other different but it's just it's it's whatever <laughs> you know it's whatever it's the box office the mcu has built their franchise and have been hugely successful with it no matter how you feel about it it's a huge success it is uh, there's been some brilliance behind it. There's been some mishaps. And, uh, you know, individual opinions, yeah, they, they all haven't been winners. Not in my book, that's for sure. But uh, it's still it's still a hugely successful franchise. It's still going on and on. And who knows what will be the next big box office winner because there's always got to be some kind of cultural thing. There's got to be something that really grabs the public because Avatar had that 3D technology that just 
pull people in. And that movie just had legs and legs and legs. And there was a re-release on that one too. And I'm sure it'll get re-released yet again before the sequels come out. I guarantee you, James Cameron will do that. He'll probably maybe add something else. Who knows? But uh, yeah, congratulations, Russos, and uh, the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. You guys are number one! But I mean, number two is fine too, whatever. Anyways... That's, that's just me talking. That is the box office report. Let me know what you saw over the weekend. If you saw anything, and let me know what you thought about it down below in the balls area. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. It's filmjunkie.com for my content. Follow me in the uh, sock meds over there. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Patreon if you want to help out the pirate ship. And shirts down below, guys. All right? I'll talk.